Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to customize the thumbnails or the previews of your videos. So when you're sending videos through channels like email or text message or social media, the thumbnails may be slightly different. And what we want to do is optimize these thumbnails so that we get the highest chance of our recipients clicking on the video. So let's dive in. The first thing you can see is at a glance, I have some videos here in my library and they have a still thumbnail kind of associated with them here. That's typically the first frame of the video. So here is, here's an example of a video that I recorded as, an, as a sample. So if I click on this video and if I share this, you'll see it's just slightly different depending on which channel it's going through. So I can click share and send here. The first element is this personalization text. So I can say video for Darius or hey Darius, check out this video, some variation of that. We want to put their first name on it here so that it makes the video look and feel more personalized just for them. So in an email, this is what that looks like. If I go ahead and paste this in there, you can see it has my first name on it. It's an animated preview uh, as a timestamp on it. You can also remove the branding there on a paid account. So that's what it looks like when we're sending these through email. Now, if I send this same video through social media, it's gonna look a little bit different. So on LinkedIn particularly, before I send the message, it just shows up as a link. But after I've sent the message, then it's gonna show up as a still thumbnail similar to this one here. So you can see there, it shows up as a still thumbnail, but the link with that personalization text is visible. So it's a little bit different. It actually shows the title to the video as well. So the link with that personalization text, the still thumbnail, which is the first frame of the video, and then the title. And now if we're sending this video through social media, it also would look something like this. It's gonna be a link and a still thumbnail. If we're sending it through text message, it would be very similar to this as well, a still thumbnail with a link, except for it wouldn't have the title visible. Um, and then the thumbnail would be optional. You can send just the link or you can include a thumbnail along with the link sending through SMS. There is a video here on the website that covers that in detail. So be sure to visit the tutorial section of the website to cover how to send videos through specific channels and what those previews might look like in more depth. All right, so that's the first thing is, you know, what the thumbnail looks like in specific channels, whether it's through a social media, text message, or email. And so consider with those things in mind, what we wanna do is make sure we're optimizing the video or the thumbnails for those channels. Now, what does that mean? It comes down to a couple of things. If we are creating custom videos for people for things like prospecting for business development, then we want to make sure that those thumbnails have something of the recipients. People often have the mentality of what's in it for me, and we want to make sure we're satisfying that. So as you can see here, this little thumbnail of my face is really not the most interesting thing that someone who doesn't know who I am, someone that I'm trying to prospect, this is not the most interesting thing they can see. What that might look like is something else, something here I've actually recorded another video as an example. What I would recommend is recording, as I mentioned, something of theirs. So here is what that looks like. You can see I've recorded someone's LinkedIn profile there. And if I wanted to prospect that person, this is something I would do. You can see here it has their, their LinkedIn profile. So when they receive this, whether it's through an, a text message or an email or social media, it'll be just a little bit different. So the other thing I would do is, is put their name on it, right? So I would come in here, share and send, video for Nick. And then now when I send this through email, it is both his LinkedIn profile and it's going to have his name on it. And if I send this through LinkedIn, it's going to be similar. It's going to show the his LinkedIn profile and it's going to have that personalization text in the URL. And if I send it through a text message, it's going to have a still image of their LinkedIn along with the link and that personalization text. So what this does, it gives us the highest chance to have them click on this because it's, it's about them and that really helps increase click throughs. Okay, on the other side of the spectrum, we have to have generic content because we're not doing custom videos for each person. So if that's the case, then what we wanna do is just have some general best practices. So things like great lighting, interesting backgrounds, and you know things of our office, we just want those to be very professional. So as you can see here, I have a video in my email signature of a nice office setting, it's well lit, things like that. Smiling is also really important on those generic videos. Um, so we also want to include anything interesting we can. So if, if we're in a specific vertical, whatever we can include in that thumbnail image, if it's generic, 
that's going to be you know really dependent upon your offering, your product, your audience, all those things. So with take those variables into consideration when creating a thumbnail. Okay, so let's talk about how to change these thumbnails. So you saw here, um, what it does by default is the first three seconds of the video to generate the GIF, but we can really use anything we want here. So say if I want to change the thumbnail for this particular LinkedIn video, which I probably wouldn't because it's good, but if I wanted to, all you do is you um, visit the video from your library, any video you want to change the thumbnail for, you just click the video there, visit the video management page, under editing, here under thumbnail is where you can customize the thumbnail graphic. You can either use any point along the video to have that be your thumbnail and just click use current frame. Just be aware that when you're doing that, go ahead and apply the changes one at a time. So don't trim, upload, and select the thumbnail at once. Just do one step at a time. Use current frame. You can also upload your own images here. So you can upload a JPEG or PNG image and have a still thumbnail be in place of the GIF or you can upload your own GIF file here and it would be a GIF outside of what's here in the video. So after you've chosen a thumbnail there, whether it's a JPEG, PNG, or a custom GIF, or some point along the video, as I mentioned by default, it takes the first three seconds. That is what the preview of the video is going to be. And now when you're sending these through different channels, it's gonna show up in that preview. So if you upload a custom GIF here, and you're sending it through a text message or LinkedIn, it's not gonna show that custom GIF. It's gonna show the first frame of the video because you can't send GIFs through social or text message. So it'll fall back to the default, which is the first frame. If you upload a still thumbnail in place of the thumbnail here, uh, an image in place of the GIF, but you use the copy GIF option, it will show up as the default GIF. So if you upload a still thumbnail, you need to copy the thumbnail if that's the preview you wanna use. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Again, if you upload a custom thumbnail and it is a GIF and you go to insert that into a text message or a social media, it will not show up as the GIF. It'll show up as the still thumbnail. And if you upload a still thumbnail and you use the copy GIF option, it's gonna show up as a GIF and not the still thumbnail. Okay, so now we've talked about how to customize these thumbnails. The first part is making the part of the video custom for who are reaching out to if we're doing custom videos, and if not, then we wanna do something generic here where it just looks really good, we're smiling, the lighting's good, it looks professional, and then we wanna make sure we're adding their name to it and any other personalization we can to make these videos have the highest chance of getting clicked on. And we also talked about how to completely customize the thumbnail for a video in case maybe the content of the video isn't great and we want a really interesting thumbnail. We can do that as well by visiting the video management page of the video and the editing section choosing custom thumbnails there.